Hello, my name is Peter Onsorge on behalf of the European Academy for Environmental Medicine and the Deutschen Berufsverband, the Klinischen Umweltmediziner, I welcome you to this video. I want to explain to you how clinical environmental medicine works in complexity. Regarding environmentally linked illnesses, it is not possible to follow the linear, causal, limited approach of medical investigations anymore. They have to be looked at in complexity. The current environmental health risk assessment needs improvement. The shift for, from reductionism to complex systems is urgently needed. What does it mean, complex systems? By Yam published about 2002, that complex systems are a new field of science and as a, and as a discipline, complex systems is a new field studying how parts of a system and their relationships give rise to the collective behaviors of the system and how the systems interrelates with the environment. Especially this field of complex systems cuts across all traditional disciplines of science as well engineering, medicine and management. Clinical environmental medicine has this clinical scientific complex approach. We already left the linear monocausal approach a toxicological paradigm. We left the dose effect relationships, left the linear and monocausal approach in diagnose, therapy, prevention, and research. We follow complex systems being multifactorial, multifunctional, and multidimensional. What does it mean? Multifactorial. We have a lot of stressors. We have four kinds of stressors. We follow up the physical kind with the electromagnetic fields, noise, radiation, heat, coldness, excessive sport. We see toxicological chemical stressors, disinfection, preservatives, food, clothes, products, pesticides, fungicides, mycotoxins, as well as heavy metals. We have biologically uh, stressors, bacteria, Borrelia for instance, viruses, parasites, molds, and we see as well psychosocially stressors, partner stressors, parents, child, children, kindergarten, school, university, working place, and during the recreation time, daily rhythm. All four kinds of stressors can work as a single stressor or as additive stressors and can go to the same system and work on several levels. Multifunctional. What does it mean? We see it works targeting multiple organs and functions. We have, of course, the toxic impact to all organs directly. We have chronic inflammation, nitrosative, oxidative stress, especially for the neuroendocrine immune system. Nice. We have mitochondrial dysfunctions. This is the energy balance. And we see depletion of micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, enzymes. We see the dysfunction of the metabolism, energy balance, and insights in nice. Multidimensional. What does this mean? Of course, we have the, um, the burden by one toxin, let's see. But this is the linear causal way of following up. 
the same time we have multi-toxicity burdening and we put this to another uh, line in the, in the system. If we look for the time of burdening, we have another line. Seeing duration of the burdening, another one. And uh, actual vulnerability, one, another coordinate system. Individual sus susceptibility gives, gives you another line in the coordinating system. So last but not least, actual functionality of metabolism is one more. So if you want to put this all in one system, you can make it mathematically uh, correct. So we have no possibility to give you a picture of all those multidimensionality we have to work on. Thank you for your attention.